Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Manoj Web, where my goal is to make your front-end life easier. In today's video, I'll be showing you my board game design project, I'll be showing you how to play it, what I did for it, and what place I got for it in the TSA regionals. So without any further ado, let's get started. Right, welcome back. So, my board game was called Kingdom World. It has broken up a bit since the TSA regionals happened, but I'll continue on. So it's called Kingdom World. The packaging really wasn't good. I lost quite a few points for packaging, but I didn't have enough time to actually work on the packaging that much. But this is what my packaging looks like. It's really plain. It's just like white paper with staples as well. And you can see my TSA team number over here. So this is what it looks like. We have right here the instructions, the game instructions, which I'll be explaining. We have the four decks, four stacks, which are the different events that can happen. You can have a danger event, you can have a war event, you can have you can gain supplies or you can face some kind of big problem, big danger. We have the supply sheet, uh, where she allows you to keep track of your supplies, which I'll explain in a moment as well. You have your board, which let's open the board. Let's see right here. Yep. We have Kingdom World. We have the four kingdoms. Let's move that a bit. We have the four kingdoms A, B, C, D, Kingdom World in the middle, and there's the board with the different colors that represent the different events that can happen. So, whatever you roll on, that's the event that happens. So you first decide your kingdom based on like your color. So you want kingdom C, you would choose red and you would put it right here which, where it connects. Kingdom D is orange right here. Kingdom B is blue and kingdom A is green. And then there's a die. Let's get started. You would roll the die. Seems I got a six right away. So let's say it was Green's turn. You gotta decide if you go clockwise or counterclockwise and what order to go in. That's written in the instructions as well. You gotta decide the way it goes, but that's the way it has to go for the rest of the game. So you decide at the beginning of the game. So let's say Green goes first. Uh, let's get counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so Green right away lands on black, which is a war card. So what this does is he draws one of the top cards it tells him what happens to his supplies if he wins and what happens if he loses. So it tells him how much he wins and how much he loses and tells him the rules to uh, declare war on another player. So let's say he decides to declare war on Kingdom D because he can only declare war on his connecting kingdoms. They will both roll a die five times and whoever has the highest total wins. And let's say Kingdom A won, right? This card says it gains 10% of the other kingdom's wood and oil. So Kingdom D would take their supply sheet and subtract 10% of their wood and oil and Kingdom A would take their supply sheet and add those amounts to his wood and oil. And the same happens the other way around. If Kingdom D wins, he would add and Kingdom A would subtract. Let's roll again. Three. So orange is probably next. One, two, three. Okay, danger. So what danger means is your kingdom is facing some kind of imminent threat, some kind of big problem which you have to solve within one turn or one day. So you draw a card, it uh, describes the problem to you and it gives you, tells you how much amount you lose, what supply you lose and how much you lose. So this one tells me, your people are protesting over lack of food due to a recent famine. You must quell their anger. So you lose, min so you lose minus 10 food, so you have to subtract 10 from your supply sheet. And if you don't have enough, you lose. If you can't pay that off, you lose. You can also trade with your connecting kingdoms to get some supplies and give them some supplies in exchange and decide on your trade deals. So let's see what red rolls. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, green. So what green means is supplies, which means your kingdom found some kind of supply deposit and found some supplies. So this is the supply card. It says... Your knights found a small pond nearby. They managed to bring back some clean water from the pond. So that, that means you gain five water. So you just add that onto your supply sheet. And then let's see if we can roll to a yellow. One, two, that's danger, we'll ignore it. One, I think it was green. 
one gray is just a peaceful day safe square four one two three four all right let's see this one yep yellow so yellow means your kingdom facing some kind of small minor problem but you have three days to fix it you have three turns to fix the problem three turns to pay off the supplies but every day that you delay the supply amount the amount increases so it's kind of like there's more interest every day that you delay it so it's written on here the delay cost the current cost and what the problem is and that's basically how you play if you don't have enough supplies you can either trade you can try to delay it or you lose that's how this game works so with this game when i explain the concept of the judges the main thing that i lost points on was the packaging because it was the simple packaging i don't think i lost many points on many other things and i got third place for through i got third place for the competition out of i think like six to seven teams and there was another team from my school that got second place so they went to state now i'm i'm not going to state for board game design however the judges liked the idea but they didn't like packaging so that was pretty much it for board game design if you have any questions or any suggestions which i really hope i get some suggestions please put them in the comments i would love to hear from you guys and that's pretty much it see you next time